Yeah, there, there were several sort of justifications for it. I mean, first and foremost, I, I saw a gap in the market for a publication that I think spoke to sort of a hybrid audience of those in the industry, as well as consumers and sort of bridging that chasm that, that existed. I think there were um, some really, and still are some really strong trade publications that speak to sort of what, you know, all that's happening in the cannabis ecosystem. And then there were sort of very specific cultural publications that spoke like high times, right. That just spoke to that, you know, end user or connoisseur. Um, and there really wasn't much in between. So that was sort of one uh, justification. The other was from a marketing perspective as well. You know, the, there was very limited marketing opportunities for cannabis brands at that time, 2018. Um, and I, I felt that, that I, I again, having worked with ad tech companies and worked with the ad industry and being a marketer myself, I, I, I definitely saw an opportunity to um, sort of shift that, right. And, and create more opportunities for relevant, ad, you know, relevant ads and, and reaching consumers at, at a scale um, that made sense to, to cannabis brands. And then the third thing was, was really just providing a, a accessible platform to educate, um, inform, and essentially destigmatize, further destigmatize cannabis. Mm -hmm.